today, Wattpad, we, we, we are global and uh, uh, multi-platform entertainment company, but at its core, we have an app that lets people discover and share stories, like science fiction to romance and everything in between. We only focus on fiction. Conceptually, it's very similar to YouTube, except that people don't share video. People share fictional content, uh, fictional stories uh, on our platform. Today, we also have another business uh, that is related. Uh, we take the best stories on our platform based on the building audience and the uh, uh, and the fan base, the fandom, uh, and the data. We take them off our platform and we produce, uh, co-produce movies and TV shows. Some of them are Emmy, Emmy nominated. The one right behind me is the number one streaming show in Indonesia right now. Uh, after and after we collided in the same franchise, there are four other movies coming out. They were number one in the box office when we opened, uh, number one on iTunes when we have it, uh, when it was available digitally. You know, these are just some examples. Amazing, amazing to think, you know, where it's gone to, to be creating uh, a sort of a clearinghouse for great stories that could be turned into movies. And Wow. So I want to remark on something you said a moment ago. That you mothballed it essentially put it on hold to do this other startup. Yep. I think that resonates mm -hmm. with a lot of our members who kind of come to that point where they're trying to decide, should I keep this thing on life support? Should I shut it down? Should I pursue a new opportunity? Should I join with somebody else in Founders Network that's found some kind of product market fit? Yeah, I think it's very hard to generalize. Yeah, each case is very very specific. Uh, I think knowing what I know now, perhaps I... Uh, we shouldn't quit our job <laughs> at that time. Perhaps it is meant to be a side hustle uh, for a little bit longer to prove that we have the product market fit or closer to pro product market fits before we we quit our job. Simply because like your personal saving can only give you uh, X number of months or uh, or years of r runway. It's not unlimited. But if you could do this part time, and if uh, time is your biggest enemy, in our, in our case, time is absolutely needed to grow the marketplace, then you you could quit your job when you see signs of product market fit. So that's a that's a good um, maybe segue into kind of the the finance financial story of the company in terms of funding rounds, and you've kind of told us about the beginning and then where you are mm -hmm. today, but there's there's a lot in the middle there. We bootstrapped it until late two thousand nine early 2010 and then we we found a, a few angel investors they gave us uh, just over half a million dollars that's allow us to to hire more people and, and by that time you know my wife also joined the company he she she joined uh, right before we raised the angel round and became employee number one we raised uh, an angel round in early 2010 by that time we 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 had pretty good traction we had maybe a hundred thousand a few hundred thousand monthly readers already and then 2011 uh when we were pretty close to a million monthly users, we raised our Series A led by Unisquare Ventures uh, and then the B round pretty quickly. Uh, within nine months, we raised the B round okay. uh, led by Kosla. You, you bootstrapped with the proceeds of that sale of the mobile ad network. Mm -hmm. And then you raised the 500K angel round after you had hit what amount of traction? A few hundred thousand, maybe low six thousand. figures. Yeah. 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 So a lot. this is another common one where Founders think they can raise some funding before they have any traction. That wasn't your experience. I would also say my experience is kind of unique. Uh, when was the last time you, you you see a company that the founders almost gave up, uh, but uh, uh, kind of became a side hustle and then became full time again and raised <laughs> a few rounds of capital, you know? Uh, and uh, I think it's kind of unusual. Don't, please don't copy that. <laughs> I mean, that for you. <laughs>